Hello and welcome to the Letters B, I'm Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create an epic bounce transition. We are in Sony Vegas and after you edit your footage and the song that you want to use for your project, be sure to mark the beat drops or kicks in your track so you know when you're going to use the transition. To create this transition, simply create one video track above your main track and move the clip that is going to be shown after the transition 5 frames before your previous clip ends. Then open the pan and crop tool, go to the very beginning of the timeline and move the pan and crop window to the direction where you want the transition to come from. After that, move 5 frames forward in the timeline and set the pan and crop window to the default. This way, the main part of our transition is done. Now we just have to add the bounce and some motion blur. For the bouncing effect, go 2 frames forward in the timeline after your pan and crop window reset. Change the value of the position of your pan and crop window to 935. Then, go another 2 frames forward in the timeline and reset your pan and crop window once again. And here we go, the bouncing effect is working perfectly. You can change values, the direction where the transition is coming from, as well as the gap in between the keyframes just as you wish. Just make sure that the transition isn't too slow, otherwise it might gonna look a little weird. Now we just have to add some motion blur to our clip. We are using horizontal blur because our movement goes from left to right. Set the ratio value to 100, hit the clock icon and go forward in the timeline for 5 frames and then just simply set the value back to 0 and you are done. I hope this tutorial was helpful for all you young video producers out there. If you want to support this channel, please subscribe, leave a like and comment on this video so we can actually see that this video helped you and also bring us new motivation to create even more cool tutorials for you guys.